So today is superhero day at school. Oh, and or princess day. And I was very surprised Ginger did not opt for being a princess, but she wanted to be Supergirl. So um, we're heading into her school right now, and um, and uh oh, we had to get creative on Supergirl. So she has her cape, which we're gonna put on. Let me see you, and her headband, and she's Supergirl. What do you have to say, Supergirl? Nothing. I'm gonna fight and defend. <laughs> say it. I'm gonna fight and defend. Defend. Supergirl, what? have a great day at school. Okay. Love you. Mm. Okay, so the kids are dropped off. I've been wait waiting for this day for a long time. I am going to go get my hair done, which I've never done before. I'm going to get it colored. I've never in my life done anything like this to my hair. All I've ever done to my hair is get it cut. Okay, that guy's being dumb. So, um, I'm really excited. I've, I've come to the realization after several conversations with different people that my hair is no longer red. My hair used to be very vibrant red. And I guess with each pregnancy, my hair has gotten more and more dull. So those kids have sucked the color out of my hair and it's very sad for me because I've always loved being a redhead. So I'm going to go try to get my red back. And um, I've been going to this girl, she's been cutting my hair for um, 15 years. She's the one that like did my wedding hair, my prom hair, like she's my girl. So she knows what my hair used to look like and she's going to try to hook me up. I should put my seatbelt on. Safety first, or in this case, safety second. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit excited, well I'm a lot excited, I don't know what to expect, I've never done this, and um, ah! hopefully it comes out really good, and I'm happy with it, I hope I don't look, I hope it doesn't look like all fake and ugly, like, like I don't know, I just, I, I want it to look like my natural color. So, alright, wish me luck, and I'll come back with a, an after shot, this is the before. Okay, get it, get it. All right, and then I'll have an after. <laughs> we're about to start. We just went over, we just did our little consultation. We just went over all the things we're gonna do, so. processing for a few minutes. I'm going to be sitting here and um, this is crazy. Before and after. <laughs> totally. I wonder if you can see like with the camera like the highlights because it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean because it's wet right now but like right in this area. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. It's done and it's a lot more vibrant and that's good. That's what I wanted. And um yeah, it's and it always feels really good after you get your hair cut. I've been cutting my own hair for like four or five years, just like whacking at it. <laughs> and so she did a real cut job and it's nice that it's like officially um you know, straight and even. So anyway, it feels good. I'm happy. It's vibrant red. It's how I used to be. Um, so yeah, this is a good way to get my feet wet. Maybe next time I'll do something more drastic, like big chunks or something of color or blonde or something. So we'll see. You guys want to see something beautiful? That is a happy baby playing. Hi. That's a total sign that she's feeling better. Um, however, you know how there's that saying that like, oh, it's your third baby, so you know, the passy falls on the floor, you'll, 
you'll um, just pick it up and give it to them without washing it off. I think that's totally true as far as the baths go because little Hazel hasn't had a daily bath. I'll own it. I'll admit it. She does not get bathed as much as the older two because what? She just sleeps and plays a little bit and I mean the other two are out getting dirty, you know? Um, but in the last three, four days since she's been so sick, since she's been throwing up and stuff, she has definitely made up for the lost bath times because I have bathed her like on average three or four times a day. Just now was no exception. She she just did something really naughty in her diaper. And I am now going to show you, I showed you that beautiful thing, now I'm going to show you something not so beautiful. And Alex is going to have to blooper that. <laughs> that is just a sample of what she did. So um, she just had another bath. I had to have a partial bath, had to change clothes because uh, she left she left some, some uh, what do I want to call it, she left, let's just say she left her mark on me and um, meanwhile Brigham is doing something he shouldn't be doing. But, which is my favorite game. Oh that's your favorite game? And he just dumped it out on the floor? Yeah so I can play with it. Go ahead and play with it, play with it with wow. him. Pick up all the fish. So I'm going to get back to sorting my laundry and hopefully I will be able to finish sorting my laundry without having to stop and give somebody a bath. Because lately, it seems like that's all I've been doing here. Baths and laundry. And more baths and then more laundry. Because it's a cycle when there's a stomach bug. This is what happens when people don't take naps at daycare. They cannot finish their dinner. Go ahead. And then what's this guy doing? Did you not take a nap either, honey? Oh my gosh. And then look at this one. Whoa. Look at this one. Are you deviling him? Don't devil him. Alright, we need to get him in the tub because he's covered himself in mac and cheese. <coughs> Here, Ginger. He beeped. That's good. I think there's more food on the outside of his bowl than on the inside. <laughs> Was it yucky? Yeah. Poor Try boy. Pixel's taking advantage of him, too. See? <laughs> He's got one shoe on. <laughs> we need to get him in the tub. Brigham. 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 And apparently a sleepy baby means the daddy gets to faunch him and do devil him. Alex, you're mean. <laughs> He really doesn't care. He's really asleep. He's face. Daddy. He was, he's doing a pouty face. I know. Maybe tomorrow you'll take a nap, boy. Sitting up time. It's sitting up time. Sitting up time with Hazel. Okay. Sitting up time with Hazel. Sitting up time with Hazel. Thank you, Ginger. She's like, I really want to be walking everybody, and I want to be drooling on everybody, too. What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> That's a really pretty face. Item number one. <laughs> you really stole this from her house? Item number two. It still has the tag on it. That means it's for sale. I bought okay, it. Okay, I just returned your wreath to your door, and now I'm taking it right back home. My aloha wreath? Yes! That's it, that's yours. Everything else there is mine. I'm that. taking this as a finder's fee. <laughs> I can do this, Mommy. 
Whoa, Ginger, don't pull on Auntie's clothes. Okay, hold up there, Senorita. We won't take them. Tara, you cannot take my flag right in front of me. I think I can actually. <laughs> Get it back now. Get it back now. Get it back now. You really just Go did that on YouTube? It. Go and get it. Laura, hold the camera. It's broken. Yeah, look. Oh, the glue. her arm broke. The glue won't stick. Okay, well here, I'll shoot it from that angle. Okay, so that's the first page. That's your girl with pigtails. Yeah, pigtails and then this guy. Uh-huh. And, and grass. Yeah, and then a little dog with a sky. And we need, to, we need to draw some legs on that dog, right? Yeah, and then a mermaid. Oh, a mermaid. With the blue water. I like that. Feel it, guys. <laughs> That's cute.